the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she received by the Holy Spirit. Now Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray for for We beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> This morning's Mass offered for the repose of the souls of Jenny Sanacore, Father James DeVita, and Frederick and Catherine Donnelly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with Lord your spirit. spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I can confess to my God and to you, you my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, Christ, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. So may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God but in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only God and Son, Lord of God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone the Lord. You alone the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God. Make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles to whom he chose them, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took them from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him into heaven. The word of the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord among trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God, God mounts his throne, throne and shouts of joy, the of the trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne and shouts of joy. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with truth, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit. As you were also called to the one, the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the Holy Ones for the work of ministry, to building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Go and teach all nations, says the Lord, I am with you always, until the end of the world. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Lord, you Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world, proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. 
Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then, the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we go through life, there are moments of passage. There are moments when we pass from childhood to adulthood. There should be moments. There should be a lot of those moments. Unfortunately, in some people's lives, there are very few of those moments. But in good, healthy growth, there are moments of passage. Moments when we realize that things that were done for us, we're going to have to do now for ourselves. And it's a bit jolting. Oh, I have to do this for myself. I can remember growing up, we always had a real Christmas tree. I can remember a point where my father turned around to my brother and I and said, you guys know how to do this. You put up the tree this year. And we did. And we ended up with a socket, not a plug. All the lights had to come off. I never did that again. And it was good training for Sacred Heart Parish and how to put lights on a tree. Today is a rite of passage for the apostles. For three years, they were with our Lord. They went everywhere with him, especially Peter, James, and John. They listened to him, they watched him, uh, they heard him teach, and they were trying to understand what he was saying. They saw him touch people and cure them. They saw the power of God working there in front of them. They saw him figure people out, like when he met the woman at the well. And they saw him read people's hearts. They saw him comfort people and give people hope and give people faith. And they were very happy to be part of what Christ was doing and to follow him and to listen to him. But in a sense, Christ was doing all the work. They were like children having this done for them. Then there comes a point, and he told them it was coming. Forty days after Easter, he tells them, I told you I have to go back to my Father in heaven. He gave me a mission. He sent me into the world to do these things because I love my Father and because I love the children he created. I do this, but my mission is over. Now I will go back to heaven, and this is a rite of passage for you. Now you will do the things that I did. You will give people hope. You will touch people's hearts. You will give them strength. You will teach them faith. You will teach them the commandments. You'll teach them primarily by what you do, not what you say, 
of what you do. You don't tell people about kindness. You do kindness. You don't tell people about keeping the commandments. You keep them yourself and people will know. You know, the great Saint Francis of Assisi never told anyone what to do. He just did it. And then he would say, you must, by every action in your life, preach Christ. And rarely you can use a few words, but it's by your actions. And then the apostles, and very interestingly, when he tells them that, you notice they don't say, oh no, we can't do this. We don't know how to do this. You've got to stick around and continue to do it. It says as soon as he told them that, they go off and, all right, we get it. We know you prepared us. We know what to say. Now we're going to go off and do it. Why? Because he told them, when you do the things that I taught you to do, when you teach the world, when you bring hope to the world, when you bring kindness, when you bring healing to the world, when you're doing that, he says, I am with you. You're not alone. I'm there working through you. And it won't be so much your power, it will be my power. And sometimes it won't necessarily be your words, my words. And people won't be impressed with you. They'll be impressed with me shining through you. And they understood this, that when they taught, Christ was with them. When they did the good things that Christ had done, when they healed, when they comforted, when they taught, he was with them. And to have him present with them, this is why they were so willing to do these things. Why they just, fine, we'll go off, we'll do it, because this is the way you're going to be with us when we do these things. And he didn't send them out alone. He didn't say, I'm going to be with you as an individual, so you go out and do your own thing, and I'll be with you. He gave them the church under St. Peter, the first pope. He said, you will do these things as part of my church. And when these things are done as part of my church, I will be there. So this is the mission of church. And you think to yourself, in every little community all over Long Island, there are our Catholic churches. The sacraments are celebrated. Grace is given. Christ is there. Charity is given. Healing is given. Hope is given. God is at work through us as members of his church. And we take that a step forward. We go into the world. We go into our jobs. We go into our family. We go into our neighborhoods. I can bring God there by what I do. I could bring God there by my attitude. I can bring healing or I can bring hurt. I can bring hope. I can bring despair. The apostles for three years watched Christ do these things. And they said, great, oh, we're, we're all on board. We're enjoying this. And then he said, okay, now you have to do it. And then we got to ask ourselves, are we doing what Christ asked us to do? Whatever corner of the world that I touch in the next hour or two hours, do I bring Christ? Do I bring his comfort? Do I bring his hope? Do I bring his kindness? Do I bring his mercy? He sent us out 
to carry on the work. And in a sense, it was a rite of passage. As an adult in the faith, I understand. I have to teach. I have to preach the truth of Christ, not with words, but how I act. Uh, not with sermons, but with what I do. And when I do those things, Christ is standing right next to me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand for the creed. I believe in the one God. The Father. the Ascension completes the Feast of Easter. The work of Christ is finished, and he turns it over to the members of his church. We ask God to make us the feet, hands, and voice of our risen Savior. The response for today's prayer of the faithful is, Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> for the Holy Church, of which the ascended Christ is the eternal head, and for all the people of this community of God, that they may find eternal salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yes. For the rulers of nations, that they may find ways to keep the world at peace, and that God will watch over and protect our servicemen and women throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yes. For Pope Francis and our Bishop John Barris, that God may continue them in strength and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For more young men and women, that they will hear God's call to a religious vocation and follow his voice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the sick of the parish, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deceased family and friends, and the souls of those enrolled in our parish purgatorial society for this month, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O oh God, through your church, Christ came to the nations, and again, through your church, speaks to the nations. May ye, who commanded us to carry the gospel to the ends of the world, show us our part in his work of redemption, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In our service at the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord, the parish center will be closed Thursday, May 9th. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us, bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ. Who humbled himself to share in our humanity?
and blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit, contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Again, let us pray. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gaze in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world, Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome <clears throat> with paschal joy, every land, every people <clears throat> exalts in your praise, even heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim Salvatus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaho, Plenis Sunceri et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus, qui Veni in Nomini Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you. Drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim that of the Lord and the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life, chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember brothers and sisters fallen asleep in hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, Lord, Lord. graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
your healing for eternity. Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> Almighty, ever-living God, who allowed those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God.